Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Insider. So in this particular lecture, I'll be sharing with you all some of the things or the most important components of the preparation of the CSIR UGC net. And in addition, I'll be sharing the important things that help me out to qualify the CSIR UGC net examination in my first attempt itself. See, the very important thing or the very first primary thing that helps us to qualify any examination is confidence in ourselves. If you have the confidence in yourself that yes, you can qualify, no one can stop you from qualifying this examination. Believe me or not, in the initial time of my preparation as well, I also had many, many doubts in my mind that whether I would be able to qualify, whether I would be able to qualify in the first attempt itself or not, reason being the passing rate or the passing percentage of this examination is very very low so having these points in our mind having these doubts in our mind it's absolutely fine but what helps us to qualify is overcoming these doubts overcoming all of these misconceptions that we have it is not difficult to qualify this examination in the first attempt itself take my words it is not difficult all you have to do is first thing is be confident in yourself as i was as i had the confidence in my mind that yes i can do this particular examination in the first attempt itself so this was the very first thing that helped me out the second point that helped me out or which is very important for this examination or for any examination that you are targeting upon that is having a proper planning having a proper strategy in your mind that is having a point in your mind that yes i have six months i have eight months depending upon whatever time slot you have for yourself i prepared for this examination only during the lockdown last year i did not use any other time i started off my preparation around april and the exam was in the november i used just these six to seven months for my preparation and i got through the examination but the most important thing that helped me qualify was a proper planning a foolproof planning that is i had in my mind that from the very first week of my preparation until the last time which was decided only by the csir that is the notification for the examination came out at the end of october if i am not wrong having that planning in my mind that yes i have six to seven months approximately for my examination and i have to and have to qualify this exam in this particular time for that i had a planning that okay i'll be doing these units is in this particular time span then i'll be giving the mock test in addition the practice the revision all the other things follow by so it is very important for you to have a planning the first thing was confidence the second thing is planning now comes the third thing the third thing for qualifying any examination is the previous year question papers the syllabus and the complete analysis of all of these things having said that if you have a planning if you have the confidence but you do not have the syllabus you do not understand the syllabus or you do not know what the examiner is actually demanding from us in the examination you cannot qualify this is again the third component which is again very very important for you all that is having a proper knowledge of all the syllabus and come in addition all the previous year question papers take my words previous year question papers are very very important i have focused upon i have told you about the importance of the previous year question papers time and again in many of my videos because previous year question papers acts as a game changer they are very very important focus upon the previous year question papers as much as you can it helps you to read the mind of the examiner it helps you to understand that what the examiner is would actually be expecting from us what the examiner would actually be demanding from us in the examination so it is again very very important that is the third component about the knowledge of the previous year question papers in addition the syllabus is prescribed by the csir on their official website now 
in addition to these three components the fourth and the most important component is the consistency which is again very very important you have to be consistent in your preparation you have to be very consistent in your studies i'll give an example i am not very good at maths take my words i am not good at maths so but i had this in my mind that i would consistently be solving questions i made sure that from the initial time of my preparation that i made sure that irrespective of whether i am good at maths or bad at maths i'll be solving at least 6 to 7 questions daily this consistency of me solving out 6 to 7 questions daily no matter what type of questions they are sometimes the questions were very easy sometimes they were very difficult but i made sure that i would be solving out the question i would be solving out the maths question every single day this consistency of me solving the maths questions of which i was very much afraid of helped me to solve out approximately 9 to 10 questions in the main examination see for example about talking about the mathematics that is the part a it is all about practice whatever you do in the last 6 months of your preparation whatever or how much you practice this is what is reflected in your main examination and same goes with the part b and part c as well i have given you the example of part a same applies with the other parts as well so we have four main pillars of our examination preparation the first thing was having the confidence in ourselves the second thing is a proper planning third thing is having the knowledge or understanding the syllabus and the previous year question papers very very nicely and the fourth thing is consistency these four things summed up with your smart work would get you through this examination no doubt you would get qualify this examination with a very good rank all you have to do is focus upon these things and do not go for multiple sources this is an additional point you could add that is do not go for additional sources try to limit down your sources and have multiple revisions of the same revising the concepts is very very important this is an additional point which you could add in your pillars this is also a very important and a very supportive pillar in your preparation so these are the four main pillars that help you to qualify any examination be it this examination or be it any of the competitive examination that you are preparing for and these are the points only that helped me out to qualify this examination i hope these points would help you also out in one way or the other and if these points and if this video was helpful for you in some way or the other do let me know in the comment sections below i would love to hear from you all so thank you so much everyone for watching this video and also do not forget to like share and subscribe to botany insider if you find the videos helpful and important for your preparations so thank you so much everyone for watching this video and i'll see you very soon till then take care and keep learning bye